Whenever you hear the name Tesla, you think of Elon Musk's multi-millionaire tech company. However, it would interest you to know that before Tesla's existence, there was a genius prodigy named Nikola Tesla. He was widely known for his interest in the numbers 3, 6, and 9 and his theory that numbers are the key to the universe. He spent most of his life tackling this theory. What was his discovery and how does this affect evolution? Stay with us till the end of the video to find out. Born in Smiljan, Croatia, on the 10th of July 1856, Nikola Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor and engineer who despite living a mostly normal life as a child was discovered as a genius and recommended by Charles Batchelor to Thomas Edison. Tesla was born to Serbian Orthodox parents. His father was a priest, a gifted writer, and a poet. His mother was known for being highly intelligent and smart, despite being unschooled. She was also an inventor of several household appliances and farm tools. Perhaps his genius was a product of good genes. His inventions were known worldwide, and he brought about many technological breakthroughs. Although he would go ahead to be successful in his friends and works, Tesla arguably did not live a satisfying life. It was even well below average than a normal person, and his death was not gratifying either. This is mostly because Tesla did not maximize income on his inventions and had no long-term financial prospects, but could easily have been a billionaire from earning through his inventions. As a child, Tesla's educational background was being homeschooled. When his high level of intelligence was detected by his parents, he was later transferred to gymnasium in Karlstadt, Croatia, where he, as expected, excelled finely in his studies. Being no stranger to studying immensely and having a great memorizing mind for calculus and books, his schoolwork was almost like child's play to him. At the rate he solved and completed his schoolwork, he was monitored and suspected of cheating by his teachers. Also, he had a vivid creative streak during his childhood, supposedly like his mother. After seeing Niagara Falls for the first time, his creativity prompted him to lean towards inventing a technology that could do the same, only it is run by a wheeled cataract. Although he made some minor inventions and had a superb inventive instinct, Tesla did not consider himself an inventor until his early adulthood. If anyone had met with Nikola Tesla head then, it would not take very long to notice his passion for mathematics and science and his obsession with the subjects. At about age 19, after surviving cholera, Tesla began his journey in studying mechanical and electrical engineering at the Polytechnic School of Austria. Tesla became increasingly popular among students and academics for being a genius. It was recorded that at a time, a new Gram Dynamo was presented by one of his teachers, and Tesla offered an innovative solution to upgrade its communicators, but was shot down by his amused professor. This Gram Dynamo was later known to be a part of many of Tesla's obsessions. After a few years of obsessive research and finding answers in electronic current, in Budapest, after a vision, Tesla created one of the most influencing upgrades to science and technology, the induction motor. To advance his education, Tesla was enrolled at the University of Prague, Bohemia, now Czech Republic, where he studied philosophy for two years. His study period was cut short due to his childhood obsessive trait. In his quest to make his imagination a reality to be seen, felt, and touched, Tesla slaved away, night and day, lost in his own world. Although, this obsession and working habits did not seem to interfere with his academic life because he coped just fine. Something even his friends and professors could not predetermine did happen. Tesla had a gambling addiction and that made him lose his tuition fee only in a matter of days and eventually drop out of school. Tesla, Thomas Edison, and George Westinghouse. After going through a breakdown, Tesla's first attempt at picking up his life was getting employed in Paris. His job was to repair direct current power plants at the Continental Edison Company. Two years after laboring for the Edison Company, Tesla relocated to New York in 1884. He was employed as an engineer at Thomas Edison's Manhattan headquarters after Tesla delivered a pleasing recommendation letter from Charles Batchelor to Thomas Edison. 
the letter seemed genuine enough to guarantee Tesla employment for a few years. At a point during his employment at Thomas Edison's Manhattan headquarters, Tesla was given a proposal by Edison. He has assured payment of about $50,000 for an improved design of his DC Dynamos. Still recovering from his financial turmoil, Tesla considered and accepted the proposal. His obsessive trait would come in handy as he worked for months, day and night, with little sleep, to improve and advance his invention. After keeping his side of the bargain and completing the newly improved DC, Thomas Edison laughed in jest and claimed the supposed deal was all part of American humor. Tesla was not paid a dime. Expectedly, a little while after, Nikola Tesla quit working for the company. Unfortunately, the next step for Nikola Tesla did not go according to plan. After unpaid wages for months of labor and nothing to show, Tesla was again back to financial difficulties. He tried to start his own company, the Tesla Electric Light Company. The company did not progress as Tesla thought it would because of insufficient investments. He had so much financial strain that the proclaimed genius had to suspend active creative thinking to digging ditches to fend for himself. Tesla's genius ridicule was fortunately stopped after he was discovered by Westinghouse. 1887 and 1888. Nikola Tesla acquired about 30 patents for his inventions, giving him a fair advantage. During one of his lectures, he caught the attention of the renowned AC power system, inventor George Westinghouse. Things would become interesting in the current electrical market when Tesla became a major competitor of Edison, his former employer. Theory of Keys to the Universe In many later years, after fulfilling his virtue as a genius, an inventor, and a scientist, Nikola Tesla would go on to be obsessed as usual. Only this time, the subject of his obsession was numbers 3, 6, and 9. No one could understand it. Tesla believed these numbers, especially the number 3, shaped human lives. During a period, it was speculated that these numbers were what he used to unlock the universe's secrets. Another myth was that it was the code of a secret project Tesla worked on before his death. Among this speculation, the Fibonacci sequence seems to be the most reasonable. Vortex mathematics is applied to become aware of the universe on natural and divine levels. Maybe for Nikola Tesla, the numbers 3, 6, and 9 serve as the point that represents a higher dimension, and other single numbers are only applied within our realm. Although Tesla took the secret of these numbers to the grave, some spiritual and religious groups claimed that the numbers were simply a connection to the divine and that Tesla was trying to connect to the higher heavenly powers. This might be true or too far-fetched for all that is known, even for religious beliefs. Tesla was said to have done concerning activities because of this belief. For the most example, he circled the house three times before walking into it. He also had the standard of ensuring his lounge hotel rooms were divisible by three. He also frequently used the numbers to remind himself to take breaks from his long work hours and only to sleep three hours at a stretch. Even the age of his demise, 87, had a root of six. Whether these numbers are the key to the universe remains a debate. Tesla's life inventions and innovations surely testify that his 369 routines and beliefs contribute to many evolutions in physics and sciences. After all, his theory states that the numbers 3, 6, and 9 represent higher dimensions than our three-dimensional reality. Tesla himself referred to the numbers as a key to the universe. Why the key to the universe? The answer is likened to the wall clock and how time ultimately starts and ends with the number 12. Noon, midnight, the total of a completed period is 12. Also, when the root of every doubled number is calculated from number 1 to infinity, the root of 3, 6, and 9 never appears. When the design of the calculations is observed and digital roots are doubled, the layout is an infinity life symbol. It is just like repeating a pattern over and over again. However, 3, 6, and 9 are not used because the numbers represent a higher dimension than the physical one, which most people are only conscious of. This theory has also been referred to as the Tesla Law of Attraction. For Tesla, the numbers should be applied as a single unit because it represents only one thing, the universe. 
The three, six, nine methods for its manifestation have gone viral recently and claim to have benefited some people. To complete the method, it is stated that one has to write what they like to manifest three times in the morning, six times during the middle day time, and nine times in the evening. This process has to be repeated for 33 days, every day, and the mindset should be set away from desperation, worries, and anxiousness. There is a popular belief that just like Tesla, 3, 6, and 9 can help reaffirm goals and bring out the best potential in a person. It is claimed that the outcome of a goal, when the key is applied, is most likely to be favorable. This follows Tesla's words. If you only knew the magnificence of 3, 6, and 9, then you would have a key to the universe. Tesla was firm in his belief in the numbers, and from the continual reference to the numbers, it surely meant a lot to him. However, reports from sources state something that does not add up. Months before his death, it was seen in his found journals that Tesla stopped referencing the numbers. Did he resolve the problem, get bored, give up, and move to a new undiscovered obsession, or lose his interest or belief? Maybe, soon the mystery would be resolved. What do you think was Tesla's use of these numbers, and why did it mean so much to him? Share your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification button for updates on new videos.